Hey guys, I've got my hands on the awesome new iPhone 12 Pro Max and I was really impressed in my initial tests with how the photographs looked on this and the thought occurred to me that maybe uh, in a pinch it could stand in for my proper full camera. <laughs> to live on this rather stunning stretch of coastline which is known as Seven Mile Beach here in South Coast New South Wales on the east coast of Australia. And I've taken uh, tons of photographs here on Seven Mile at all times of the day and night with my Canon cameras, with my new Fuji and also with my drone and I'm very familiar with this particular location so I thought it was a good place to start. We'll bust out the uh, iPhone and we'll try and take some shots. We'll try some standard sort of straight landscape shots. And then we'll also try mixing things up a little bit. So of course, the beauty of this location is that it's wide and expansive and we can see all the way to the horizon. So let's see how the camera does with a couple of panos. All right, firstly, let's do the super wide. I'm gonna start off over on the right here make sure we're focused and off we go Panos are, it has to be said, looking pretty damn schmick on the telephoto rather than the wide angle. All right, pretty happy with how things are looking so far, but let's try mixing things up a little bit now. What I'm going to do now is fire up the Halide 2 photo app, and I'm going to stick it in manual mode, still shooting raw, and we'll try some high key shots. So All right, here I am in beautiful halide and we have switched to manual mode. You can see at the top of the screen, it says we're ISO 25. And if we get off there, we can change the exposure. So let's go for something high key and it should turn all this sand here white. So let's Bump it up. Yeah, that's quite funky. Let's try that one. Shot taken. Landscape mode as well. Might even bump that up a little bit more, that exposure. Too much. <laughs> okay, that's really kind of blown out this sand, but that's fine. That's the look we're going for. So let's see how that looks. So we switch to the telephoto mode, which you can tell because it says 2.5 down the bottom there. We're in auto at the moment. So let's switch to manual. Try the same high key. Crank that up too much, too much. Just want to blow it out a little bit, get that high key. Look, that's pretty, pretty nice. Take that one. One of the things that the iPhone 12 Pro Max does is shoot in Apple's new Pro Raw mode. Again, this was a huge draw card for me. 
having the control that you get over a raw file is always going to be advantageous. So you can see at the top of my screen there, the raw is crossed out. Let's just tick that enable raw mode. So we're now taking 12 bit 4000 on the long edge images and we will stick it in wide mode and swing round. And as you can see, you get a lot in the shot. Let's take that. Such a beautiful day down here today. Okay, let's keep it in um, wide. And we'll come down here and kneel on the sand. Oh, my knees, Jesus. Oh, that's nice. Look at this. We'll focus here and take that one. That's pretty nice. Maybe you try the straight portrait oriented shot here as well. Get those clouds. Top right. Yep, that's pretty nice. Maybe flick to telly and see what we get. Well, that's pretty nice. Focusing short here on this June grass in the foreground. Oh, yes. A tiny little pink flower there. Let's see if we can get it. Can you see it? Right there. That'd be nice. Let's get that one. Okay, so we've taken some cool beach photographs. What I might do now is pack up and drive back down the little country lane here and we'll try some photographs of the rural scenery here and perhaps the escarpment here in the south coast uh, and we'll see what kind of shots we get with that. So here's a beautiful shot across some fields. It's a Location I photographed a few, few times it actually goes by the rather awesome name of Blue Angel Creek. It's just off the beach road here that connects Berry over there to uh, Seven Mile Beach where I just was. And I just thought the view was looking pretty fine today, so I come down and take some photos. So let's put the camera in wide and come down here and geez that's looking nice not so much this gravelly bit here with the shadow this is looking pretty nice let's do a straight symmetrical shot okay go three quarter get lots of that lovely sky in nice Got some ducks in the water over there, but I don't think we're going to be able to capture them. They're a long way off. They flew off as soon as I came down here. Let's go to telephoto. Oh, now we're talking. Got a very lovely composition here with the pond grass and the birds. Oh, come on, birds, get back in shot. Go on. Did I get him? I think I did. Well, this is pretty lovely. Quite like that one. I'm just eking out this shadow in the bottom here. Focus on that. Take the photo. All right, so pretty happy with the way those look. We'll obviously see how they turn out on the uh, Mac when I get back and process them a bit in Lightroom, but on the back of the camera, they were certainly looking okay. Okay, so I've moved now up into the uh, hills uh, on the coast here. And as you can hear, the insects are going absolutely mental. So this is a well-known uh, 
local swimming hole, a little creek. Now, apologies if I squint a lot and sniff. My hay fever has just gone through the roof and I managed to get suntan lotion in my eye as well, which in combination with the hay fever means I'm virtually blind in my left eye, but will crack on regardless. Let's stick with the wide angle for the time being. Got a nice little shot with the rock here. And the plot, looking down the creek. That's pretty nice. Okay. Move further into the shot. Get down super low for this one, I think. This plant is awesome. The angle. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yes. I like this a lot. Incidentally, I'm very lucky uh, to have this place to myself at the moment because it's um, a very popular spot with the locals. I'm not going to name it because I'd be murdered but it's very popular. I'm surprised there's nobody here. It's such a warm, humid day. Let's shoot telephoto. That's lovely, the light on there. So there you go. There are obviously some serious limitations with a smartphone. We all know that. We understand that the sensors are small and that the lenses are tiny. And really there's no way that something this size with lenses and sensors this size can ever compete with a full blown mirrorless or DSLR camera. It is, however, possible to get some absolutely amazing results with this camera if you leverage the Pro Raw format built into the camera. Will I be leaving my beautiful Fujifilm X-T4 at home and just taking my smartphone? No. However, I dare say that there will be occasions where I find myself, for whatever reason, without my X-T4 and in a situation where I want to capture some beautiful landscape and I'll be very happy to have this phone with me because I think it gets me about 75% of the way there. So have you got the iPhone 12 Pro Max? Have you taken any landscape photographs with it? How are you finding the quality? Are you shooting them in Pro Raw mode? Let me know in the comments section below and if you've got some photos to share with me I'd love to see them. Thanks guys, until next time, see you later.